Hi guys. It is a hard world on YouTube and now that I'm seeing they're attacking bigger creators, it's starting to really worry me. I saw Sloan today talking about how he's getting all these strikes on his channel, he's losing views, which generally means you've been shadow banned, you've been put in the naughty corner. I've been in the naughty corner for a long time and I am a very, very small channel. I don't make that much money. And it, it's really disconcerting when you see someone who's nearly got a million subs and they're doing this to them. And a lot of people get angry at me for saying, oh, you know, you shouldn't stop the flagging system. You shouldn't, you know, everyone should be able to report because that's called freedom of speech. It's like, no, it's not because people abuse it. And that is exactly what's happened to my channel. And it's refreshing but sad to see that it's happening to a very big channel now as you all know sloan is very very sensitive to many topics he doesn't talk the way i talk he doesn't you know i'm pretty blunt I'm, i've got a lot of issues with not being pc enough all of that we don't talk on the same subjects but when it comes to some certain subjects we actually don't even talk the same, like in regards to Brittany. He's in one camp, I'm in another camp. And it's very odd that he is getting penalized. I find this all very odd because I get penalized because I've always felt it's the free Brittany people just constantly flagging my channel, which actually has happened. I've had over my time on YouTube, I have had six strikes. And yes, you know, you've got to go real slow after those strikes, because if you don't, you'll get a second strike and then there is no third strike. Your channel's gone. And the strikes that happened to me was when I very first began and my channel wasn't even monetized, but it was over COVID that whole year because that's when I started my channel and the AI bots were in charge. So if you got, you know, a handful of people flagging your content, you'd get a strike. And the first two I ever got, one was from Onision and the other one was from Eugenie Cooney. And then followed by another one from each of them, which was the four I got before I was even monetized, which was insane when you think about it. Like, why are people so up in arms? Because the flagging system's there and YouTube should not allow a flagging system. They should not allow a comment system because the comments also get flagged. And when people send insane amount of hate, then the bots see it and they're like, well, there's something's up with your channel. And that's precisely what happened with my Britney Spears content of late. Remember when I went off for a couple of weeks because, and I just made shorts because I was just getting constant hate. It has died down, but I believe that comments should not be available. And I also believe that you shouldn't be able to flag any content because it is stopping the freedom of speech and it is effing with people's brains. It's like YouTube just wants AI to run the show. And that's precisely the other reason why I made a uh, news channel, Celeb News, read by AI bots, because I don't get flagged. I don't get ugly comments and it just keeps growing. Isn't that interesting? I've done it for a, a bit of a, you know, I wanted to see what would happen if I did this. And I'm quite shocked with the outcome because it's not growing fast. The views aren't huge, but I don't get hateful comments and I don't get flagged. Very interesting, isn't it? And that is quite often why you see me pull back a bit and you see me not being as loose as a goose because YouTube doesn't like it. And it's like on YouTube, the censorship is getting so insane that I do believe a class action is going to happen pretty soon to them because the amount of mental stress and anxiety that YouTube puts people through is not good. Let's have a listen to what Sloan says, because he says exactly how I feel. Maybe people will listen to him over me. I'm not just complaining about blah, 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 blah. It's happening. And... YouTube is playing a wicked game with people's minds. You feel me? You dig? Let's get into it. Hey, Sloan. But then at the same time, my channels are constantly up for risk. And even like recently I posted a video about Scientology. 
I can't even say it because I'm never going to talk about Scientology ever again, because literally I made a video talking about them and just all my numbers, whoop, which I don't want to ever complain to you guys. I mean, I'm also, I, I haven't been posting as much as I probably should be mentally. I'm just not doing that well. So everything like together into one, it's just making me like realize like, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to do this alone anymore. And I don't know like how much like the podcast and stuff, like what, <laughs> what if the channel's just deleted? It's just gone, I guess. So censorship is really scary. And I know a lot of you guys are going to say, get on rumble, get on those things. And you know, maybe I'll get a page on there, but at the same time, it's like YouTube's my home. This is like, you know, this is how I pay my editors, how I like have my team. Like it's almost like the business is I'm watching like a business, like fail and it's out of my control. And uh, while I, I agree, like, it's important to be, you know, to censor and to protect people. That's why, like, the clip that went, you know, that got us in trouble, it was heavily censored. She just was talking about tough things and people didn't like it. So then now I'm just punished for my guest speaking, I guess so, because I, I put it out there and I'll assume responsibility. But it's also not the type of world I want to live in and want to be in where we, you know, we don't have freedom of speech. And, you know, with our news and everything so like filtered out sometimes I, i'm trying to come out here and give you guys the news unfiltered like you know re police reports and court documents and it's just like it scares me for the integrity of like in independent journalism like what is going to happen when every independent person is completely shut up or shut down or where every opinion that doesn't fit your own is just silenced like, that's not the world I ever want to live in. And I don't know if, like, YouTube or Google or, you know, it operates different in this country opposed to other countries. But seeing how I made that Scientology video and, like, watching everything that's happened since then, there's clearly some type of system where they pick up on at least these words and then protect people. Because the Scientology church, like, they are very scary and problematic. Actually, speaking of, I think people reported it and that's why YouTube ultimately gave me a strike. and. Uh, the thing is, like, it wasn't kind. I totally get it. But the fact that they can just strike my whole channel over that one statement, like, it, it just, it was, like, it, it just makes me question, like, what's being censored out there? To get that strike, it, it, it's just kind of like, I feel like I've just gotten, like, the third or fourth stab to the heart. And at this point, I don't know what to do, guys. Like, I, See I what I mean? He's getting censored. I'm getting censored. Who's doing the censoring? I'll answer this quite simply because I remember back when I first started my channel, I saw an interview with Susie Wojcicki. Bow, bow. She's the CEO of YouTube. And she said, basically, a uh, video is uploaded every second of every day. That's a lot of videos. So she said, we don't have the manpower to deal with it. So what we rely on is AI. She goes, 70%, 70 percent, 70 Seven O is run by AI. That's big. Even when they say, oh, we're going to put that through to a uh, human review, it's utter BS. A human is not watching my little video that gets a thousand views. It is a bot and it's just sent through a more sensitive type bot system. It's like YouTube has failed many people and it has affected many people's mental illness and brought it on and brought on anxiety because that's exactly how I'm feeling right now. Like I'm very lost. I've put so much work into this channel and the amount of attacks that I get. And it's funny how he said that after talking about Tom Cruise's religion, that shit went down. Well, mine, mine was really affected when I started talking about Kanye because for some reason, they don't like it. They don't like me talking about that man. And two of his videos are not even monetized on my channel. And I don't know why, because there's no sensitive content. I haven't broken any TOS, terms of service. But it's like, yeah, it, it, it is really awful. And I don't know why YouTube thinks that it can just keep playing this wicked game. Because it's going to end really bad. And it's going to end up with just a bunch of Mr. Beasts and AI channels. Because I mentioned the other day that most channels that uh, talk about celeb news, they're AI. They're not, it's not a human. It, it really isn't. You've got to believe me. But when it's real people like myself and Sloan all talking, it, they don't seem to like it as much. 
because we're harder to control, we're harder to censor because we're actually a real human with lucid thinking. We're sentient. You feel me? Bots aren't sentient. It's a real problem, I tell you, and I'm struggling. So it's it kind of made me feel good watching Sloan today in seeing that he is going through what I'm going through and it doesn't matter whether you're small or big. YouTube just doesn't really like humans talking. It's sad. We're in a really sad state at the moment with censorship. And I believe that if they stop the flagging system and they stop the comment system, it would probably help creators, not YouTube as the business. It would help creators because before YouTube bought advertising on board, you know, people made the most insane videos, outrageous videos, things that you either agreed with or vehemently disagreed with. It didn't really matter because advertisers weren't wanting to put their ads on your channel. But as soon as advertising came in, it turned awry. It really did. YouTube's not as fun as it used to be. And I was there when advertising was on board, but it's got worse and worse over the years. I mean, every single Britney Spears video I make in the last, say, two months, it doesn't get monetized. And if it does, it'll take 24 hours or 12 hours, two hours, whatever. The green button doesn't come up straight away like it used to. And it's like my channel has been flagged for Britney Spears content. And that is why I try to steer away with it. But as soon as I steer away from it, I don't get many views because the people come to my channel for me to talk about Britney Spears. So I'm in a really ugly position. I hope you guys can all understand the frustrations. It's not easy. Don't be mean to us. Don't flag us. Just let people say what they freaking want. It's pretty easy, man. Anyways, there's my rant for today. And there's just a little bit of insight into what's going on. Because I also don't like to complain. I hate complaining and telling you guys what's going on. Because it's like you come here for entertainment. You don't come here to listen to my problems. And my problems with YouTube are huge. But you don't even know the half of it. Because, you know, I don't know. Aussies, we just don't like sharing our problems with the world. Because it's, it's our problem. And we'll deal with it. But yeah, when I saw Sloan do it, I'm like, well, I'm going to bloody let it rip too. So basically, I appreciated seeing him talk about that because he's an American and Americans um, react to things different to how Aussies do. And it, it kind of made me feel like, well, maybe I should talk about it. Maybe I should just let everyone know. But the last time I spoke about how I said I'm never making a Britney Spears video again because it wrecked my channel. I got so many hateful comments. It was insane because people are like, uh, you just, you just working for the system. Oh, you're on the payroll. Bleep, 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 bleep. <laughs> well, no, I'm not. I'm just trying to fricking make money off making videos that I'm interested in. It's pretty simple. I'm not doing this as a charity. I'm doing this to fulfill myself and to try and make money as Sloan is, but it's not great. So let's hope that, uh, that YouTube can improve because if it doesn't, it's going to go down the, the toilet uh, and rumble. Rumble will be the next big one. Donald, Donald Trump's favorite bloody platform. Uh, how depressing. Anyways, <laughs> I'm going to love you and leave you and I will see you at the top. Bye. Cheers, ballers. <laughs> <laughs> How it feels, feels so real. How it, how it feels, how it feels, how it feels, and that feels so real. How it, how it feels, how it feels, how it feels, feels so real. How it, how it feels, how it feels.